Hey everybody, in this video we're going to take a look at what the actual cartilage and the meniscus looks like inside a knee during surgery. There are two menisci in the knee. There's the medial and lateral meniscus, and these are vital structures when it comes to acting as a shock absorber and protecting the cartilage on the ends of the femur and the tibia. The cartilage itself is a smooth surface, also providing some shock absorption, but it really provides a nice, smooth articulation of the joint. We're gonna take a look at three areas of the joints. The first is the patellofemoral joint. And if you take a look, you can see the groove on the thigh bone called the trochlea and how the kneecap articulates with that groove. The next area of the joint are going to be the femoral condyles and the intercondylar notch. And then this last area is going to be the actual joint surface of the femur and the tibia and the two menisci, the medial and lateral menisci of the actual knee joint itself. Arthroscopy is a procedure where a camera is introduced into the knee joint. The camera is introduced through a sheath down into the joint for inspection. Here we see the actual patellofemoral joint. On the top of the screen you can actually see the patella and the smooth white cartilage surface. The groove that you just saw over to the right side of the image is the actual trochlea and we can notice how the kneecap actually articulates and sits nicely within that groove. The rest of the diagnostic arthroscopy is performed looking over to the gutters which is the side of the femur thigh bone and we go back across the front of the femur and check the other side as well. This next area is called the intercondylar notch and it's a space in between the two femoral condyles, which are the main weight-bearing surface of the knee joint. This next area is the actual joint surface between the thigh bone and the shin bone. Notice how the cartilage is white, nice, and smooth. This next structure is the meniscus and its attachment at the posterior root. And you see how it sits right in between the thigh bone and the shin bone where it acts as a shock absorber. This is the medial meniscus. This next set of uh, images is the lateral meniscus, and you can see how the shape is just a little bit different. The thigh bone and the shin bone are also in this view. You can see the thigh bone at the top and the shin bone at the bottom. The cartilage is once again nice, white, and smooth and you can actually see the meniscus attachment to the bone at the posterior root in this image. So hopefully in this video you guys got a good look at what actual cartilage and what the actual meniscus looks like in a normal knee.